There I was, just casually shopping in my backyard like a normal human being, finding some household item. And as I was just shopping around, all of a sudden I saw somebody standing in my backyard. And you're not gonna believe it, but it was literally Blippi. And Blippi was just staring into the pond looking at something. When all of a sudden he realized that I was looking at him and he started running away because he was scared. So I started running after Blippi so that way I could talk to him when all of a sudden I actually fell under the ground. And whenever I got back up, Blippi was literally gone like I didn't see him anywhere. So I went to go see what he was looking at in the water and I couldn't believe what it is that I saw. So I hurried up and I ran inside to get the camera. A few moments later. Yo, what's up, Torn Fam, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Now, as you guys just saw, I legitimately was out shopping whenever I saw Blippi and he ran away. And I've been looking around everywhere and I legitimately can't find him anywhere. Dang it. So now you guys are probably wondering why I'm dressed in this super expensive outfit right now. What? Like this outfit legitimately cost me $500,000. So go smash the thumbs up button right now. And absolutely demolish the subscribe button as well. Because we are trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. So just do it. Do it. But the reason that I'm wearing all this swimming gear is because I'm gonna go out in the pond and get the thing that I saw Blippi looking at that was in the water. And the thing that Blippi was literally looking at was that water bottle. Oh my God. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm going to get a water bottle out of the pond. And that's because the water bottle looks like it's tied to something and that there might be something inside of it. And also Blippi was looking at it. Like it looked like he wanted to get it because maybe there's something for him. Oh, so our yeah. mission right now, if we choose to accept my dudes, is I'm going out in the pond to retrieve that water bottle. And the water is literally like 34 degrees. But you know what, guys? I'm a super manly masculine beast. And I'm not going to let some cold water get in my way. I'm going out in this pond and retrieving this water bottle right now. So without wasting any more time, let's do this. Let's do this. So I started preparing my body to get ready to go out into the freezing cold pond water. I picked up this ginormous popsicle oh stick and got ready to float. I'm coming, water bottle. So I walked to the water. Oh, hey, look, it's Rex. Oh, hey, Rex, hold this for me. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's so cold! Although the water was cold, I just went for it. Oh, loud! No, I gotta leave! Oh, oh my gosh, God. it's so cold! No. Come on, baby, don't sink on me now! Yes, I got it! I'm coming! Oh my gosh, I can't feel my legs! So I hurried up and I got to land as fast as I possibly could and I ran up and I celebrated because I was so happy I got it! Oh my gosh, we just did that first try, baby! First try. All right, my dude, so here's the water bottle right here. And yo, wait, it does look like there's something inside of it. Like there's a piece of paper inside of the water bottle. It's legitimately attached to a fishing line. And this feels like it's attached to something in the water. What is this? So I pulled the thing out of the water. It's attached to a, to a rock. So somebody literally threw this rock out in the pond water, which was attached to this water bottle. Maybe whatever is inside of it will tell us why this thing was out in our pond. All right, let's open it up. Okay, I got it open. So I tried to pull out the piece of paper, but it wasn't pulling out of the bottle. This makes me so mad. Guys, this piece of paper will not come out of this water bottle. I'm just going to have to absolutely demolish this stupid water bottle. Take this water bottle. So I shoot the water bottle, no mercy, and I threw it directly on the ground and stomped it into the dirt. Then I picked up my shopping cart and started smashing it with it like a hammer to try to open it up that way. But unfortunately, that didn't work, so I ran to our Shed to grab another tool. A few moments later. So I ran out of the shed with this ginormous axe and I started slamming it right into the water bottle. Oh, it didn't actually work. Wait, I think I got it. No way. The bottle's opened up. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. I got the piece of paper right here. It's all rolled up like a scroll. Let's unroll it to see what it is. So I slowly but surely unraveled the piece of paper. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys, it's a no. No way, there was legitimately just a no inside of that water bottle. But that was just randomly floating out in our pond. Wow. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. All right, it says, I want to fight you, Torg. Signed, Blippi. Oh my gosh. Guys, apparently Blippi, like this person right here up on the screen that we just saw 23 points. 
like 405 seconds ago while I was shopping is legitimately saying that he wants to fight me. Oh, no, guys, this is super creepy. Because if you don't remember, every time that Blippi has been in a fight, like he's literally fought Sonic the Hedgehog. And then also most recently, like in my last YouTube video, he fought SpongeBob SquarePants in real life. And then unfortunately, Blippi has absolutely demolished every single one of the people that he has fought. Because he's super masculine with his ginormous muscles. And he's also part of a biker gang. Oh, snap. So, guys, I don't know what to do about this. Like, I literally don't want to fight Blippi because he's super strong and powerful. Wait a minute. I just got a text message. And no way. He literally says that it's from Blippi. Okay, Blippi said, we're fighting right now. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, Blippi wants to fight me right now. Guys, I'm not prepared for a fight. I need to work out and train before I fight, and that way I actually stand a chance. Guys, I don't know. Blippi's obviously in our backyard somewhere, so he might come out here at any time and try to fight me. Yeah, I'm going to go inside and start training. Oh my god! No way! Blippi's running at us right now! Lord! Oh my god! Oh hell yeah! Oh my gosh! I'm not prepared to fight him! Guys, let's get out of here! So I ran away as fast as I possibly could because Blippi was literally chasing me! And I ran onto our deck and then I opened up our back door and shut it! The next day. Oh my god, it is now the next day! And we are now at my super expensive 100 trillion point four hundred thousand dollar gym! What? And I'm gonna be working out my super manly masculine muscles so that way I am prepared to fight Blippi! Let's do this! Let's do this! Now as you guys can see in the beginning of the gym, we have some fuel right what? here for your games! So and then we also have the lawnmower! Wow. So after flexing my state of the art gym, I went over and I started doing some super epic <laughs> mainly pull up just to get my muscles freshened up for the massive bench press that I was about to do so using perfect form I pushed this massive amount of weight up and down a million times it was the lightest thing I had ever lifted oh yeah baby oh yeah Alright, I got random stuff right here. Oh. And he's gonna be inflicting some wounds onto me while I'm wearing this chest protector right here. That way I can get used to taking some hits from Blippi. Alright, random stuff. Show me what you got. I can take it. Oh! Oh! Now that's a lot of damage. Alright, so my dudes, as you saw, I took that punch like a man. Which means that I am now prepared to fight Blippi in real life. So, Blippi, I know you're out here somewhere. Come at me. I'm ready to fight. You. you can't take me. I'll beat you with my pinky. So I walked around looking for Blippi so I could fight him. Oh, uh, guys, I don't see Blippi anywhere out here. Uh, he must be too scared to fight me now. No. He must have saw me working out in the gym and got scared off. So I guess I'm literally just gonna sit out here and wait on him. So I just stood there and started waiting and Blippi wasn't showing up. No. Random stuff even decided to leave me out all by myself and I was just standing out there waiting around, hoping that Blippi would show up so that I could fight him and show him how manly I am. But he was taking so long that I literally sat on the ground and as I was sitting there, I like instantaneously fell asleep. It's me, Flippy! Flippy! Oh, oh, I don't want this smoke! Come at me, bro! Do something! Come on! You know what? If you just want to stand there, you can catch this knuckle sandwich! So I punched Flippy directly oh, in his face and knocked him oh. backwards! Oh, how'd you recover from that massive blow? Flippy, say something! Nope. Hello? Randomly, Blippy started shooting lasers out of his oh, eyeballs and knocked me down onto the ground and made me pass out! And then Blippy literally disappeared! Wow. Two hours later... What the heck? Guys, I literally just came back outside and Torg's laying on the ground! We need to wake him up! Torg, wake up! Oh my gosh, how long was I asleep for? No way, guys! Flippy literally just beat me up! Like, he literally won the fight! No! God, please, no! My dudes, My welcome dudes. to the most hardcore gym in America. As you can see, I'm wearing the best gym fit of all time. And I'm about to hit the biggest lift of my life. So I sat down and I started benching 30 pounds. And I'm just an absolute beast. But as I was working out my calves, all of a sudden I got a random text message. So I pulled on my phone to see who it was. And you won't believe who it was that texted me. It freaked me out, so I hurried up and I ran out of the gym. A few moments later... 
Yo, what's up, Torn fam, and welcome back to a brand new video. My dudes, as you just witnessed, about 3.500395 seconds ago, I was legitimately working out, and I was training to be the world's strongest man whenever I randomly got a text message. Now you guys won't believe who the text message was from, but it was legitimately from Curse Thomas, like this person right here up on the screen. Yeah, apparently Curse Thomas has a phone, even though he's a train. But Curse Thomas, whenever he texted me, he literally said that the fight is going to happen today. Now, if you don't remember my last YouTube video, which is like this one right here up on the screen, I legitimately found Curse Thomas in real life and he told me that he was going to be fighting Blippi like this person right here up on the screen. And literally nobody has been able to beat up Blippi. He absolutely demolishes everybody that tries to attack him. But luckily, Curse Thomas is a ginormous train and there's no way that Blippi will be able to beat him up. So I think we finally found somebody that's going to be able to beat up Blippi for us. Let's go! Oh, baby! Yeah, baby! All right, since Curse Thomas didn't tell us what time the fight was gonna be at today, I'm gonna climb on top of our roof. That way I can keep a very good bird's eye view out for Curse Thomas and Blippi. So that way we do not miss the fight. So yeah, I'm just gonna climb up there using my super extremely epically professional skills. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I went over to this ginormous antenna and using my professional climbing skills, I climbed up it all the way onto the roof. Yes, I made it! First try! First try. Once I got up on the roof, there was a chair waiting for me, so I sat down and started looking around my entire backyard to try to find Curse Thomas or Blippi. All right, guys, I'm not seeing anything so far, but I'm just going to stay up here until I see Curse Thomas or Blippi. So as I sat there, I kept a very good bird's eye view out for Blippi and Curse Thomas. That was until I almost instantaneously fell asleep. You stupid. And I literally just laid there and I was snoring and everything. Two hours later. Man, guys, I haven't seen any signs of Curse Thomas or Blippi. This makes me so mad because I've literally set up here for 10 minutes now. No. I'm just going to absolutely demolish something. Here, take this. I was so mad that I picked up the chair and I threw it off of the roof out of range. Oh then after I threw it, I went and I climbed down the antenna like Spider-Man super epically fast. Oh. Then I ran all the way inside of the fence to where the chair landed at and I picked yeah. it up and started throwing it on the ground and absolutely demolishing yeah. it until it was broken into yeah. pieces. Ah. A few moments later. Oh, uh, guys, maybe I got a little bit too upset right there. Yeah. Like, rest in peace, I absolutely demolished that chair. Even though I may have raged, as you guys know, I'm an absolute genius. Yeah. And what I came up with is that I'm going to be flying my super beautiful and luxurious $1 billion drone. And we're going to fly it up into the sky to try to find Curse Charles or Blippi in our backyard somewhere so that way we don't miss the fight. Because Curse Thomas said that the fight was happening today. Wow. But guys, before I fly this expensive drone up in the air, go smash the thumbs up button and absolutely demolish that subscribe button to wish us luck so that hopefully we can find them. So without wasting any more time, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, here we go. So using my professional aviator skills, I flew the drone over my house. Okay, so we just made it over the house, and I'm looking out on our road right now, and as you guys can see, I don't see anything at all. Let's get way higher up so we can get a better bird's eye view. So I flew the drone super high up into the sky. Okay, so we're now super high up in the sky. Let's start looking around. So I started looking around. Alright, we're gonna check the backyard, which is literally just right here behind us. And so there's our pond right there, and I'm not seeing anybody so far. Let's go back into our woods. So I flew the drone back over my woods and started looking around there, but I still wasn't seeing anything at all. Okay, guys, right over here in this cornfield is where we last saw Curse Thomas at in our last video. But unfortunately, after we saw him in this field, he literally disappeared and we haven't seen him again. No, God, please, no. Let's go back to the road and look farther down. Okay, so we got the field right here and there's the road and I'm not seeing anybody on it. Like, we can see a big portion of it and I don't see Curse Thomas or Blippi at all. No. Let's get a closer view. Okay, we're approaching the road right now. All right, we gotta be careful so we don't hit these power lines. All right, I'm not seeing them anywhere. Let's get closer and look down the road. All right, here we go, guys. We're going up on the road. We gotta watch out for these power lines. All right, we're like on the road right now. Okay, let's look this way. All right, so I don't see anybody that way. Let's get a little closer to the road. All right, I'm gonna look the other way. 
<gasps> oh my god! No way, guys, look! It's Curse Thomas! He's running down the road right now! He just ran past the camera! Let's turn it around! Wait, my camera's glitching! What the heck? Oh my gosh, look! He's running away from us! No way! He's running towards our house! Guys, no way! I gotta fly the drone back! We're gonna back right now! We gotta hurry up and get into the front of our house! That's where he's running right now! So I headed towards the house! Alright, I'm right above our house right now! Let's go to the front yard and look at the road! Then I flew to the front yard! We gotta watch out for these power lines, too! Oh my Okay, I'm in the front driveway right now. There's the house. But all right, I'm looking at the road. And I don't see him anywhere, guys. Let's just watch the road for a minute to see if he goes by. Oh my goodness, there he is. Hey, wait a minute. He just threw something into our yard. What the heck? No way he's gone. Let's follow him. Oh my goodness. No way he got away that quick. I don't even see him anywhere. He just went down the road and look. He's not even there. Curse Thomas must be insanely fast. Like he's literally gone. He must be so fast because of all of his legs. Wow. Guys, I don't know, but as you saw, he threw something in our front yard. Let's run up there to see what it was. Come on, I gotta land the drone first. So flying as fast as I possibly could, I brought the drone down and I landed it back on the porch where he took off from. Yes, the drone has been successfully landed. Let's go, baby! Yeah, baby! Guys, let's go see what it is that he threw! So I ran super extremely epically fast like the flash all the way up front. Oh my goodness! Guys, look! This is what he threw! No way! It looks like it's a piece of paper! It's some sort of note or something! Let's go even read it see what it says on it. Alright, it says the fight's at 5 p.m. tonight in the field. Oh, Signed, Curse Thomas. Oh, my goodness. Guys, apparently, Curse Thomas lets us this know. Saying that the fight is going to be in our field, like, right over there. <laughs> at 5 p.m. Oh, hey, guys, no way. According to my stopwatch right here, it's literally 4.55 p.m. We're going to hurry up and get to the field so we can watch the fight between Blippi and Curse Thomas. Come on. So I ran straight into our backyard towards the field. All right, my dudes, the field's right there. Let's keep a very good bird's eye view out because this fight's literally about to happen. Oh my goodness! Guys, no way! Look, it's Blippi! He's running across our yard! Oh my god! So Blippi was just running across the backyard super epically fast and he ran directly towards the field! No way! He just ran into the field! Guys, we gotta go chase down Blippi to see where he's going! Maybe they're about to fight! Oh so running as fast god. as I possibly could, I hurried up and ran and looked into the field! Oh my gosh! Blippi's right there and it looks like he's about... No way, it's Curse Thomas! Guys, are literally about to fight right now, look! So Blippi was just standing there and Curse Thomas was coming directly at him and Blippi uppercutted him in the face! But Curse Thomas came back and Blippi tried to punch him, but he missed! But he actually punched him one more time! And Curse Thomas came back at Blippi, but Blippi used his leg and kicked him straight into outer space! Then Blippi just looked around for a second and started running directly towards the woods! Oh my goodness, no way! Blippi's gone! He literally just ran away after absolutely demolishing Curse Thomas! Like, Blippi literally won the fight! And guys, no way! I don't see either of them out here anywhere! And guys, did you see Blippi? He was literally wearing his pajama pants! And he also had on a different hat! Wow. So I can't believe this, guys! Blippi literally just got out of bed! And he still absolutely demolished Curse Thomas like it was nothing! Blippi is way too powerful! Oh guys, this is super crazy! I don't see Blippi or Curse Thomas anywhere out in the field! They both just, like, disappeared! No! God, please, no! Right now, I am absolutely demolishing this golden dragon with this pole noodle. Wake up! The dragon wasn't waking up, so I kicked this football out of rage into the point. No! Yo, what is up, Torn Fam, and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Now, guys, something super sad is happening right now. Because just 3.4595 seconds ago, I legitimately was just outside mowing my yard like a normal human being. And I was jamming out to some music looking like an epic giga chat. And as I was mowing the yard with my $4 million lawnmower, all of a sudden I saw something out of the corner of my eye. And what I saw scarred me for life. So I was super distressed and I hurried up and I ran inside as fast as I possibly could. And guys, you're not gonna believe what it is that I saw. Like I said, it's super sad. And it's so sad, in fact, that the kitty cat wants you guys to go down below right now and smash that thumbs up button because one like equals one prayer. Isn't that right? Oh, yeah. The thing that I saw was literally this dragon. Like, as you guys can see, he's been absolutely demolished. And I was just trying to wake him up by hitting him in the face with those pool noodles. You stupid. No, guys, I don't know who hurt the golden dragon. But as you can see, he is no longer with us. Like, he has no air left inside of him. Wait a minute. No way. Rex is right there in the water. Rex, did you do this to the golden dragon? Wait, guys. 
Christ, Rex isn't saying anything either. Somebody must have absolutely demolished him as well, and that's why he's in the pond. No way, guys, what's happening? We gotta hurry up and get the Golden Dragon and Rex to a hospital to see if they can be saved. Don't worry, buddy, I'm gonna get you the help that you need. Oh, what the heck is that? Guys, no way, that's just right underneath the dragon. And it looks like it's some sort of note or something. I wonder who wrote this. Let's read it to see what it says on it. All right, it says, this is my backyard now. No one is allowed to be here. Signed, Blippi. Oh my goodness. My dude is apparently Blippi, like this person right here up on the screen. is saying that this is his backyard. Even though it's my backyard. Torg, this is your parents' house. <laughs> Say what? Flippy must have been the one that absolutely demolished the golden dragon because he doesn't want anybody else back here. And he must have absolutely demolished Rex as well. No, no way, guys. Flippy is super powerful. Like, he has manly masculine muscles. And he's part of a biker gang. Well, if you guys don't remember my last video, Flippy beat up Sonic the Hedgehog in real life. Oh, snap. So this is super creepy, guys. Saber Tooth Tiger, will you keep me protected? Nope. Oh, guys. We're on our own. Guys, we gotta make sure we keep a super manly bird's eye view out for Blippi so he doesn't beat us up. Oh my goodness! No way! I see something on the other side of the pond! That looks like a SpongeBob! Let me use my super high tech binoculars to get a closer view! So I look through them! It is SpongeBob! No way! And look! He's literally like bowing down to the ground! And there's something right in front of him! It looks like it's a piece of paper or something! SpongeBob! Hello! Can you hear me? SpongeBob, look at me! Oh, uh, guys! SpongeBob is still just bowing at the ground! I don't know! We gotta head over there right now to try to talk to him! Come on! Oh my god! No way! Guys, look, SpongeBob's gone! No. Oh my god! No! No! But wait a minute! My dude, SpongeBob might be gone, but that paper's still there! Let's go see what it is! So I ran over to the piece of paper! Well, right, SpongeBob was just standing right here! And no way! Look, it seems like it's some sort of note or something! Alright, let's read it! It says, I'll stop Blippi! Sign SpongeBob! No way! Apparently, SpongeBob SquarePants, like this person right here up on the screen, is legitimately gonna try to stop Blippi. I wonder if that means that he's gonna try to fight him, like in real life. Guys, this is super crazy because remember, Sonic the Hedgehog couldn't even beat up Blippi, and now SpongeBob's gonna try to. I don't know who's gonna win, guys, but apparently they're gonna be fighting soon. Let me try to look around for SpongeBob real quick so that we can talk to him. So I started searching around everywhere, but then I heard something. It's me, Blippi. Wait, what the heck? No way, I just heard Blippi say it's me, Blippi! Oh that means Blippi is watching us right now! No. Hello? It's me, Blippi! I just heard it again! I don't see Blippi anywhere and I can hear him! He's about to absolutely demolish me! I gotta get out of here! The next day. Yo, my dudes, my what's dudes. up? It's now the next day and I'm on my way to Random Stuff's house right now. Because Random Stuff just sent me this picture that you guys see right here up on the oh, screen. Oh, and as you can see, that is literally SpongeBob SquarePants standing in front of the security camera at Random Stuff's house like he's just standing on the back porch. Now, Random Stuff said that SpongeBob's been sitting there for a little while now. So we're going to go try to talk to SpongeBob right now. I'll see you guys whenever I get there. All right, so we just made it. I'm going to hurry up and run into the backyard to try and talk to SpongeBob. Come on, let's go. The back porch is just right around this corner. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! I don't see him! No, he has to be here. Ramsoff said he was. No! I don't see him! No! 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 Alright, well, SpongeBob is obviously gone now, but now I'm out here with random stuff. Hello? Oh, hello, man! Now, random stuff, you're the one that first saw SpongeBob on the security camera. Did you see where he went whenever he left? Um, after I saw SpongeBob, I got extremely hungry, so I ran to Subway so that way I could get seven foot long subs. What? Wait a minute, this makes me so mad. Random stuff, you went out to eat without me and didn't give me anything? No, God, please, no. A few moments later. Guys, you know what? SpongeBob may have disappeared, but it's a good thing I have a very good bird's eye view. And they super for manly masculine muscle. So we should be able to find him first try. First try. Using my ninja skills, I ran and jumped off of the dead. Then I ran into our backyard and started searching around for SpongeBob SquarePants. What the heck? Guys, look, there's an old man inside of my car. What, guys, look, he's literally just sitting in my car. Wait, what's that? It looks like he put some sort of note or something in the window. What? He's getting out of the car right now. Oh my gosh, sir, stop, sir. 
Where are you going, sir? No, don't leave. Guys, he's gone. Where was he going? Like, guys, he literally just ran out of my car and ran around the corner. Sir, sir. Oh, my God. He's gone. How did this man just disappear so fast? Guys, I don't know. Let's see what that thing is that he had inside of my car. So I ran over to the car and I parkoured over and looked inside. Oh, my gosh. No way. Look, this is the thing that he had in his hand. And there's something on top of it. I don't know what this thing is. Like, what in the world is this thing? It looks like a walkie-talkie. Wait a minute. It's a cell phone. Why did this guy just leave me his cell phone from the 80s? I don't know. Let's see if this note says. Say what? Guys, no way. Apparently, the note that he left me literally has a phone number on it. And it says FaceTime now. Oh Wait, God. so he wants me to use this cell phone to FaceTime this number. But I don't think you can FaceTime on this cell phone because it's too old. I don't know, guys. I guess we're just going to go ahead and call this phone number to see if they answer it. All right, here we go. One, two, three, seven, 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 nine, eight, five, nine. All right, I'm calling it right now. Oh uh, let's put it on speakerphone. Hello? Hello, who is this? Hello? The fight will begin soon. The, the, f the At fight? At the railroad tracks. At the railroad tracks? Oh, okay, who is that? Who? No! They literally just hung up on me! Stupid person that gave me that phone! They didn't even tell me who they were! But apparently they literally this phone number so that they can let me know that the fight is about to begin at the railroad track. We're gonna head over to the railroad tracks right now to see if we can see this fight. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I ran super fast all the way to my truck and then I hopped inside of it. And I went to go put on my seatbelt but I was struggling and then it started choking me. So I started beating it up. Stupid seatbelt. Then I finally got it to work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A few moments later. All right, so the road tracks are just right over there. Oh we're about God. to turn on the road right now, and I don't know what we're going to see. Oh. They just told us that there was a fight about to happen. So I started driving closer and closer towards the railroad track. Oh. And then I saw something. <gasps> wait a minute. Oh. Guys, no, wait. Look out there in that gravel. It's SpongeBob and Blippi. It looks like they're fighting. Oh. So SpongeBob was backing up, and then he accidentally hit Blippi, and he turned around and smacked oh. him, and then they started fighting. Oh. And SpongeBob ran off, and Blippi was just standing there, and then he went the other way. Oh my gosh! No way, my dudes! They're both running away! Look, I don't even see them anymore! Look! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, guys! We're gonna go try to find them! Alright, we'll see a train. We're good that way and this way. So I drove over the railroad tracks and started looking around for SpongeBob or Blippi! Guys, I don't see any of them! Like, they're just gone! I think I saw SpongeBob, like, run this way! And I don't even know where Blippi went! And now they're both gone! Guys, this is super crazy. We just watched SpongeBob and Blippi fight! And unfortunately, it looked like Blippi won! So SpongeBob literally lost and he got absolutely demolished. I can't believe this, guys. Nobody's been able to stop Blippi yet. Hopefully, we can find a worthy opponent soon. Let me know in the comments down below who you guys think can beat Blippi and maybe we can get them to help us. And make sure that if you guys haven't already, that you go down below right now and absolutely demolish that subscribe button and ding the notification bell as well so that way you guys do not miss any of our future YouTube videos. And because we're trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, so just do it. Do it. Two hours later. You guys are not gonna believe this, but something crazy is happening right now. And, um, I should probably be a little bit more quieter because it's super late. And I don't want to wake up my neighbors. But as you guys can see, it is legitimately 5.45 a.m. right now. Oh my gosh. It's literally 18 degrees outside. Oh, snap. What's happening right now is super crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys a clip that I recorded about 40 minutes ago whenever I got woken up. Yo, guys, can you hear Hear that? I hear someone come from the other room. Oh, I need sleep, man. What is that? It sounds like somebody's knocking on my door. It's literally five in the morning right now. I'm going back to sleep. It's probably just somebody trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. You stupid. So yes, unfortunately, I literally got woke up in the middle of the night because somebody's been knocking on my door. But the reason that I'm up now is because that person is still knocking. So it's a good thing that I have security cameras that I can look at on my phone. So we're going to go ahead and check the cameras right now to see who is at my house. Oh my Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, guys, before we check the security cameras, I need you guys to go down below right now and absolutely demolish that subscribe button with your pinky what? because we are trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. Wow. But wait a minute. I just realized ever since I turned on the camera, I haven't been hearing the knocking anymore. Maybe that person finally left. I don't know. I'm going to check my security cameras right now. Here we go. I'm pulling them up. And, um, oh my goodness. No way. That literally looks like it's Sonic 
the hedgehog. And he's literally just standing on our porch. But as you can see, he's literally just standing there. And he's doing absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go open up the door to see what he wants. What? All right, here we go. We're heading to the back door. What the heck? Now somebody's knocking on my front door. I mean, I guess Sonic is super fast. Maybe he just ran up here. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. Hopefully Sonic doesn't, like, try to attack me or something. So I unlocked the door and slowly opened it up. And Sonic was just standing there and then he ran where'd away. Wait, where'd he go? So I walked outside, but I didn't see him anywhere at all. Oh. Guys, I don't know where Sonic went. As you guys saw, he was just standing there, and then he ran away. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Like, he wasn't even saying anything. Yeah. Guys, you know what? This makes me so mad. I think Sonic is literally ding-dong ditching me. Yeah. Guys, I don't know, but I don't think he's going to be able to get inside of my house or anything, so I'm probably just going to go back to bed because I still need to sleep for, like, 12 more hours. What the heck? That sounds like it's my piano. My piano just started playing itself. My piano's just on the other side of this wall right here. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Sonic. He's in my piano right now. Sonic, what are you doing? How'd you even get in here? He's just sitting right there on my piano. Sonic, are you going to say anything to me? No. What do you want? Hello? Oh. oh my gosh, what the heck? Sonic's gone. He was just sitting right at the piano and now he's not here anymore. Hey, wait a minute. It looks like he left me some sort of note or something. Guys, no way. All right, this piece of paper says, I'm going to be a blippy tomorrow at Random Stuff's house. Oh gosh. Guys, apparently Sonic is literally going to absolutely demolish blippy at Random Stuff's house tomorrow. But why did he break into my house just to leave me this note? Yeah, I'm going into my bedroom right now and I am going to lock the door. Then I guess we're gonna go to Random Stuff's house tomorrow to try to warn Blippi about Sonic trying to attack him and, like, fight him. But yeah, I'm going to bed. Peace out till tomorrow. The next day. All right, guys, it is now the next day. Oh and I just God. got 14 hours of sleep. Let's go, baby. And also, since we have a lot of snow on the ground, I put on my super expensive $1 trillion what? boo. <laughs> Now, guys, I'm also here with Random huh? Stuff. Random Stuff, say hello. Hello. And Random Stuff's also going to be helping us search around to try to find Sonic. And remember, Blippi may also be out here as well. And if we see Blippi, we'll have to warn him that Sonic is coming to fight him. So me and Random Stuff are going to make sure that we're giving a very good bird's eye view. Out for Sonic and Blippi. And Random Stuff, what should they do right now to wish us luck? You guys should go down below and absolutely demolish that like button. Oh, uh, yeah, just do what he said. Do it. We are now heading into the backyard right now. I'm kind of scared. Oh. Although me and random stuff were scared, we continue to try to find Sonic. Guys, he's gotta be back here somewhere. Wait a minute. Look at what Baby Yoda. What? Baby Yoda. Have you seen Sonic back here? Nope. Say what? You haven't? You're supposed to be on the lookout. Stupid Baby Yoda. <laughs> So I got back to looking around for Sonic the Hedgehog when all of a sudden my phone went off. Wait a minute. My dude, I just got a text message. What the heck? Who could be texting me? Maybe it's my one friend. Torg, I don't think you have any friends. <laughs> Wait, this text message is literally from Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, Sonic just texted me. How in the world did he even get my phone number? I don't know, guys. Let's go ahead and read it and see what it says on it. All right, Sonic said, I am watching you right now. Oh, my goodness. Guys, apparently Sonic the Hedgehog is watching me right now. And he's literally here to fight. And I don't have any sort of weapon or anything. I gotta find me one. So I was looking around everywhere to find a defensive weapon, and then I found this ginormous weight right here. All right. I got this 10 pound weight right here. This should definitely keep me safe and protected. Okay. And wow, this is literally the most weight I've ever looked in my life. What? I'm feeling super manly and masculine right now. <sighs> Come at me, Sonic the Hedgehog. I gotta wait. All right, I was standing right here whenever he texted me that he was watching me. So we gotta be somewhere where we can see him too. I continued on my search and then all of a sudden I saw him. Oh, oh my goodness. No way, guys. Look, Sonic's literally right there on the other side of the pond just standing there. No way! We gotta hurry up and get over there and stop him with our weight! And now, uh, guys, according to my calculations and super epic brain, I have a genius idea! And that is to go across this ice on the pond, because the fastest way to get somewhere is in a straight path! So let's test out the ice to make sure it's strong enough! Wait! Test the ice for me! Oh my god! Uh, I don't think the ice is strong enough! And no! This makes me so mad! I lost my weight! No. Let me ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine.
fine when you're not really fine. All right, guys, I guess I'm just gonna go over there with my super masculine muscles. Even though I'm super weak. Let's hope Sonic doesn't call my blah. So I did some super epic parkour while I was on my way over to Sonic the Hedgehog. So that I could confront him with my super weak muscles. What the heck? No way, guys. Look, Sonic's gone. No. I don't see him. Oh, my God. No way. He was literally just standing right there 3.45 seconds ago. Guys, and as you know, Sonic is super fast. So he could literally be anywhere right now. Let's see if we can find any footprints from him. No, wait, look. This is where he was. Like, look, he was literally standing right here. And wait a minute. What the heck? Guys, look. There was a piece of paper sticking out of the snow. And it looks like it's some sort of note or something. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. All right, it says, it is time. Oh my goodness, guys. Apparently, Sonic literally left us this note. And he's saying that it's time. He must be saying that it's time for him to fight Blippi. And look, he doesn't say anywhere on here where they're going to be fighting at. They must be fighting somewhere here in our backyard. Guys, we're going to find Sonic and stop him before he gets Blippi and absolutely demolishes him. All right, so there's some tracks going back this way. But these literally look like they're human footprints. I don't know. Maybe Sonic has ginormous feet. Let's follow them to see where they lead to. All right, the track split off right here. One of them goes this way, and another one goes right over here. It looks like Sonic went down here at one time. Like, look, the tracks go right over here, and then it looked like they end right here, right at the creek. Maybe Sonic ran back this way whenever he realized that the creek was too high for him to cross. And that's why this track's going this way. Let's follow them. So using my professional investigation skills, I tracked down Sonic and Blippi. Oh, my goodness. No way, guys. Look, at Sonic and Blippi. I think they're about to fight. Look. Oh. So Blippi and Sonic were standing face to face and Blippi looked huh? super nervous. Whenever all of a sudden Sonic went after Blippi and attacked him. He roll kicked him directly in his belly button and made him fall to the ground. But Blippi got right back up like a bee. Whenever all of a sudden he sucker punched him in the face, launching him straight into outer space. Blippi was super shocked that he just did that and he decided to run away. No. Say what? No way, guys. Blippi just uppercutted Sonic in the face. And they're both running away. Come on, we gotta catch up to them. Oh my god. Oh my Wait, guys, look, I don't see them anywhere. I can't believe this. They were literally just here. And they just had an epic brawl like they literally fought. And my dudes, I'm pretty sure that Blippi literally beat up Sonic. So, man, guys, remind me to never have beef with Blippi. Because apparently he's an absolute monstrosity. Like, Blippi literally must be part of a motorcycle gang or something. Because that was absolutely crazy. Like, as you guys saw, he got knocked down by Sonic. And then he stood up and then he just punched him, like, straight into outer space. Like, Sonic is literally gone and no where to be seen. And then Blippi literally just ran this way. And I don't know where he went. Maybe he like went back out to the road or something. Say what? The next day. My dudes, my dudes, right now I'm just casually shopping in my backyard what? and all of a sudden I ran over something. So I looked down to see what it was and I couldn't believe it, but it was a melted giant gummy bear. Oh, snap. What's up, my dudes? I cannot believe this. As you guys just saw, I legitimately ran over the gummy bear. And unfortunately, as you guys can see, the gummy bear is literally melted because it's been out here in the blazing hot sun. And my dudes, the last time that I saw the gummy bear, I absolutely demolished him. Like, as you can see in this video right here up on the screen, I was, like, throwing him on the ground and beating him up because just the other day, he legitimately made fun of me and called me fat. You've gotten super fat recently. <laughs> Super happy that this gummy bear melted. That means he's officially been defeated. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. But guys, I'm going to get this gummy bear off of my $1 million grass. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I walked over to our burn pile and I grabbed a piece of cardboard and I tried ripping a piece off, but I was too weak. So I pulled out my manly masculine muscle and tore it off first try. Then using these sticks, I started slowly picking the gummy bear off of the ground. I'm super hungry after all this intensive labor. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at that gummy bear. He still looks super delicious. So I walked over towards our creek bed, and I hopped down inside of it, and I dumped the gummy bear inside of the water to feed the fish. Then I climbed out of the creek like Spider-Man. Yes, the gummy bear has officially been defeated, and now he's disposed of. 
destroyed. That was super crazy, guys. I cannot believe that the gummy bear melted in the sun like that. That was just super crazy. I need you guys to go smash the thumbs up button right now. Because one like equals one prayer for my backyard because now there's gummy all inside of my grass. So, what the heck? Hey, Sonny, I lost my walker up in your front yard. <laughs> my walker up in your front yard. I need help. You lost your walker in the front yard? Where at? Hey, down in the ditch. In the ditch? I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't walk. Guys, this ancient man right here needs our help. I gotta go to the front yard of the ditch and try to retrieve his walker for him. Sir, I'll be back with your walker. Let's go get it, guys. Oh, please, please help. <laughs> so I started heading towards our front yard and I threw my hat off and pushed this floaty into the pond water. Then without hesitation, I full sent it and jumped on the floaty, but I fell in the pond. But I pulled myself back up on it using my muscles and I grabbed my shoe and put it back on. Then I started swimming. Why, dude? This is taking way too long to swim over there. I'm gonna pray real quick and hopefully God gives me a paddle to paddle over there faster. So I started praying, then a paddle spawned out of nowhere. Back away! It worked! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. So I began using the paddle gifted from the heavens above to start paddling across the pond, but then all of a sudden I slipped and fell into the water. Oh, my God. But nonetheless, I pulled myself back up onto the tube once again and started paddling. All the way until I made it to shore, then I climbed up on shore. And I started running towards our shed and I ran in there and grabbed this fishing pole. Guys, our ditch is right there. Apparently, that's where the old man lost his walker at. Let's go see. So I went straight over to the ditch and looked inside of it. Wait a minute. Oh, my dude. Oh, I think I see it. Look, it's all the way down there in the water. Oh. I'm gonna try to fish it out. So I walked down towards the ditch and I casted my pole into the water and then I caught the walker and started pulling it up. No way! I got it first try! First try. <sighs> Let's go get the old man his walker! So I ran all the way to my backyard to the old man, but then I slipped and fell and hurt my leg! Oh, my leg! My walker! Thank you, sir! Oh, oh, I just hurt my leg! You know what? I need this walker now! I just hurt my leg! I can't even walk now! Oh, oh, what? Oh, sir! I need it! It's mine, sonny boy! I need it! I The next day. There I was learning how to use my walker cane when all of a sudden this random horse made fun of me. You're yeah. really bad. So I smacked him with my cane and launched him straight into outer space. <laughs> but I continued on my journey whenever all of a sudden I randomly saw something else in the distance. So I pulled out my super high tech binoculars and the thing that I saw looked like Blippi. And he was just behind our burn pile so I hurried up and I ran inside as fast as I possibly could to grab the camera. And I ran out to go film Blippi but whenever I got back out he was literally gone oh my god no! No! a few moments later my dudes i cannot believe that flippy literally just got away like that i shouldn't have let him out of my sight because he's super fast but right now guys our new mission if we choose to accept is that we're gonna actually head into our backyard and search around for him because we need to recapture him before he like tries to be somebody else up so, because if you guys don't remember blippy is literally part of a biker oh, gang so he's super dangerous so i'm gonna take my truck into the backyard right now now, we're gonna drive around to try to find Blippi. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I drove my truck into the backyard and started looking around for Blippi. All right, guys, so right here on the other side of the burn pile is where Blippi was at. He was literally just right there, and I don't see him. Oh, God, please, no. I don't know, guys. Maybe he, like, ran out into the field or something. So I just continued looking around everywhere for him, but I wasn't seeing him. Oh. It's now time for plan B. Wow. A few moments later. Plan B is to take the one billion dollar drone and fly straight up into the sky like Superman and search around for Blippi using the camera. This will 110.500 million thousand percent work. So here goes nothing. We're gonna fly this bad boy up into the sky. Using my professional aviator skills, I flew the drone directly up into the sky. All right, so we're really high up in the sky right now, my dudes. And as you can see, my truck literally looks like a Hot Wheels. So now we have a super good bird's eye 
and view of our entire backyard. Oh so I flew the drone over our woods looking for Blippi, but he was nowhere to be seen. Oh. I guess we're gonna head over to the field now. So as I was searching our field, all of a sudden I saw something in our backyard. Wait a minute, guys, what the heck? I'm gonna fly the drone lower, but I think I see somebody out on our, that looks like it's right by our pond. That definitely is somebody. I wanted to look it up at the drone. That kind of looks like it's Blippi. Blippi, what are you doing? Wait, that's right there. Guys, look, that's literally Blippi. Oh my goodness, Blippi, stop. He's hiding behind that tree. I gotta go get him. <laughs> Blippi, stop right there. Wait a minute, look, it looks like he left us something right there on the ground. I don't know, I gotta go get him before we check that thing out. There's the tree that he went behind. I'm approaching Blippi right now. Blippi, come out with your hands up or you're gonna get a knuckle sandwich for dinner. Right. So I went around the tree. What the heck? He's not here. I don't know where Blippi went. No way. Let's go see what that thing is that he left us. Come on. So I ran straight to the thing that Blippi left us. It looked like he left us some sort of note or something. No way. I wonder what it says on it. Let's go ahead and read it. I'm going to fight here tonight. Signed, Blippi. Oh my goodness, guys. Apparently, Blippi is literally going to be fighting here tonight. Like, unfortunately, that's the whole reason I was trying to stop him is because he keeps on beating people up. But it looks like we're already too late. No! All right, we're now back to the drone, guys, and we gotta stop Blippi before this fight happens. Let's look around for him once again. All right, so right over here is the tree that he actually was hiding behind whenever he disappeared. I don't know where he ran to, guys, but let's just keep on looking around for him. So I continued searching around for Blippi. Guys, I'm not seeing him anywhere at all. No. I guess I'm literally just got to fly the drone back to the truck. So as I was flying the drone back, all of a sudden, I saw something. Wait a minute! Oh my goodness, guys, look! That's Flippy right there, and he's over there on the other side of our pond again! And there's somebody else there! They're running at each other! And it looks like they're fighting! Oh, they're literally tackled on the ground, and they're punching each other! Guys, who's gonna win this fight? I don't know! Come on, random person, please beat up Flippy! Oh my gosh! Flippy just kicked out another person in the stomach, and they fell on the ground! And Flippy just ran away! No way, I gotta run over there and see who it is in the blue sweatshirt! <laughs> No way! He's literally gone! Look, he's not there anymore! Oh my god! Whoever Blippi just absolutely demolished is literally gone too! So we may never know who just fought Blippi! But all I know is that Blippi is back in action and he's back to fighting once again! Wait a minute! I just got a text message on my phone! It's literally from Blippi! Blippi literally said, I just beat up Lanky Box Justin! No way! Apparently according to Blippi and what he just texted me, he's saying that he just beat up Justin from Lanky Box like this person right here up on the screen! So apparently Lanky Box was the one in the blue hoodie that was just right here in our backyard fighting Blippi! No way! I can't believe that Blippi absolutely demolished Lanky Box Justin! Rest in peace! No! See right behind me, I got this contraption. Like this tarp right here is covering up a brand new item that I just purchased using all of my money. But this thing is super epic. And I need you guys to go smash the thumbs up button right now because this thing literally costed me $6,000. Rest in peace. So now I'm in an immense amount of debt. No, God, please, no. Now, really quick, guys, before I show you what's underneath this, Tarp. I just gotta brag about my super luxurious masculine beard and mustache. Look, look at these bad boys. I've been growing them from over three years now. And I'm finally starting to look like a manly masculine beast. So, um, Torg, I'll literally give you 36 cents if you shave your mustache and beard right now. Oh, wait a minute. Guys, this is an offer. I can't refuse that 36 cents. Well, I'll pay for the $6,000 item under this tarp. I always knew this day would Calm. That's why I always keep a razor and shaving cream in my back pocket. All right, if you guys haven't absolutely demolished that subscribe button yet, then go ahead and do it because I'm going to shave off my beard and mustache. I'm doing it for 36 cents, baby. Let's go. So I put the shaving cream on my face. All right, guys, here we go. So using the razor, I started shaving off my beautiful beard and mustache. Guys, my mustache and beard are now gone. Random stuff. Give me my 36 cents right now. Um, Torg, I'm poor. I don't even have any money in my bank account. Are you joking me? Random stuff. I don't care if you have to search on the ground for days. You're giving me that money. Come back here right now. <laughs> oh, man, guys. I'm already winded. I guess I'm not getting my money. A 
few moments later. You know what? I don't need random stuff's money. I just found this gun full of money. Look at this. I'm rich, baby. Yeah, baby. And guys, now it's time for the official reveal. And the thing that I just purchased with all my money and went into debt for is legitimately a brand spanking new four-wheeler. Yes, that's right. I legitimately got a four-wheeler. Look at how beautiful and luxurious and ginormous this bad boy is. picked up before my grandparents find out that I took it out of their savings. What? You stupid. Oh my gosh. So I picked up the money as fast as I possibly could. The next day. All right, my dudes, it is now the next day. And I finally got all that money picked up. But now I got on my super epic four-wheeler gear. What are those? And I'm going to take this bad boy out for a spin to see what it's made of. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I walked over to my beast of a four-wheeler. I hopped on it, and then I took off super fast like the plan. And I drove it like an absolute madman. Whoa! This bad boy has some manly masculine horsepower, baby! Yeah, baby! Guys, look! There's a massive swamp right here! I'm gonna take it down this ginormous hill! So I got back on the four-wheeler, and then I just sent it, and I went straight down the ginormous hill into the creek! I made it! First try! First try! Torg, I triple dog dare you to take the four-wheeler over all those rocks! Say what? Over those rocks right there? Yeah, like there's literally no way you're gonna be able to do it! Oh yeah, oh, man! Yeah. Stop you just triple dog dare me, and I never Turn down a triple dog deer. This bad boy will have no issue going over those rocks, so I'm gonna do it. So I backed up the four wheeler and headed towards the rocks. Guys, there's no way Tori's gonna make it. They're way too big. So the four wheeler slowly climbed over all of the rocks and made it to the other side. I made Take it down the creek! So I started driving the four-wheeler through the creek and it wasn't getting stuck like it was going through everything! Oh my god! I'm super far away, my dude! Wow! Wow! I'm coming back! So I drove the four-wheeler back through the super deep water and oh I made it god. back successfully! That was super epic! Hey, you know what, guys? I want to go for another one! Like, I'm gonna go back over the rocks once again! So I started driving the four-wheeler back over towards the rocks when all of a sudden I saw something! What the heck? Look! I'm not even joking! Blippi is literally right there! Ah. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my god. Guys, it really is Blippi! You're a random stuff! Let me see the camera! Guys! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! Blippi, what are you doing in our backyard? Like, you're literally in our woods right now! Guys, he's not saying anything! Oh my god! He's running away! Blippi, come back here! Nope! Guys, he's trying to escape! Wait, he's on a trampoline! Blippi, no! Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to catch him? Wait, back up real quick! Guys, we gotta chase him down and see why he's in our backyard right now! So I drove the four-wheeler to the other side of the trampoline! He's right there! No, he's going back over the trampoline! Oh my gosh! Blippi, come back! No! He's running away! I gotta go on foot! The four-wheeler is too slow to back up! Oh my gosh! Guys, Blippi's right there! He's running away! No, no way! Guys, I'm literally out of breath! Let me go grab the four-wheeler and try to find him! So I ran to the four-wheeler as fast as I possibly could. I hopped on it and started driving out of the woods to try to find Blippi! And then I saw something else! Wait a minute! What the heck is that? Guys, I can't believe this! It literally looks like there's something on the ground right here! Oh, and I don't know what it is, but look, it looks like it's some sort of piece of paper or something! Oh, Let's go ahead and pick it up and see what it is! So I reached down and picked up the paper! Oh my goodness! My dudes! It's legitimately some sort of note or something! And let's go ahead and read this to see what it says on it! Alright guys, this note literally says, Fly your drone tomorrow at 5pm to watch me and Cursed Blippi fight! Signed Blippi! Oh my goodness! My dudes, apparently Blippi and Cursed Blippi are gonna be fighting tomorrow at 5pm! 
fly our drone up into the sky so that way we can watch the fight to see who's gonna win. So guys, I guess Blippi literally got away. Like, I don't see him anywhere out here. Ever since he left the woods, he just like literally disappeared. No! But guys, I guess I'll literally just come out here tomorrow and fly my drone at 5 p.m. so that way we can watch them fight. Wait a minute. What the heck? Guys, look. I was wondering where random stuff went. He's literally sleeping on this random piece of carpet out here. What? And he's snoring super loud. Random stuff. What are you doing? Well, when you took the camera out of my hand, I started to get extremely tired. So I just found this random piece of carpet and took a nap. You stupid. All right, I don't know what random stuff's doing, but we will see you guys tomorrow when we come out here to fly the drone to try to watch Blippi and Curse Blippi fight. <laughs> Peace out until then. <laughs> the next day. All right, my dudes, it is now the next day. It is currently 4.58 p.m. So the fight is legitimately getting ready to happen. So as you can see right behind me, I I got my one billion dollar drone and I'm gonna be flying that bad boy up into the sky so we can watch Blippi and curse Blippi fight. And wait a minute, I forgot my popcorn. No. Dang it. Dang it. But all right, without wasting any more time, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, I'm flying the drone up right now. So I flew the drone up into the sky, but I didn't realize this random guy was legitimately stealing my four wheeler. Wait a minute, guys, somebody's on my four wheeler. What the heck? I started chasing the guy that was on my four-wheeler to try to get it back, but he was way too fast. No. I can't keep up with him, but somebody just stole it. They kind of look like Cursed Blippi. Let's follow him. All right, so he drove this way. Guys, I'm not seeing him. I wonder how far he went. Guys, we got to find him. He literally just stole my brand new four-wheeler. Say what? I think I see him right there. He's literally just stopped right there. Hang on, let me get a closer look. All right, guys, he's just sitting there on the four-wheeler doing nothing. What is he doing, guys? If he doesn't move. I'm gonna go over there and get the four-wheeler and attack him myself. Oh my Wait, he's driving away. Guys, where's he going? Oh my goodness, this is super crazy, my dude. I can't believe that we're chasing him around right now. Wait a minute. Guys, look, that's literally Blippi right there. And he has the ginormous branch. And it looks like him and Chris Blippi are about to fight. And wait a minute, look, they're running at each other. And Blippi just swung the tree branch at Chris Blippi, but he dodged the attack and threw the branch to the ground. Chris Blippi just pushed Blippi to the ground. It looked like he literally knocked him and now he's running away from the crime scene. And Blippi's just laying there. This is super creepy, guys. I can't believe that Curse Blippi just won the fight. And now Blippi's trying to crawl away like it looks like he's trying to escape or something. Yeah. Guys, we gotta hurry up and run over there and talk to Blippi. So that way, maybe we can try to help him. So I sort of run into where they just fought as fast as I could. Guys, I'm almost there. Wait a minute. No way. I legitimately don't see Blippi anymore. I can't believe this, guys. Like, as you saw, Blippi was literally just crawling right here in the grass. And now he's gone. And I also don't see Curse Blippi anywhere either. No, God, please, no. Guys, look, my four-wheeler's right there. Curse Blippi didn't actually steal it. He just used it to get to the other side of our pond to fight Blippi. It looks like Curse Blippi literally won the fight between him and Blippi. So this is super creepy, guys. Make sure you go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think about about this. Guys, I'm gonna end the video right here and go lock up my four-wheeler and make sure you guys go absolutely demolish that subscribe button if you guys haven't already and ding that notification bell as well because we're almost at one million subscribers. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. But yeah, we will see you guys next time on a brand new video with TORG, <laughs> aka that one random ginger. Peace out. Do it. Just do it.